say that. So, have we heard from anybody? Are we broadcasting? Yeah, just ask her for broadcasting. I don't care about faith. Are we broadcasting, ladies and gentlemen? I know nobody ever listens to us this time of night. You don't expect us to be on starting the show. But say la vie, that's life. Let me see just a minute. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, she would have said if you were broadcasting. Uh, no, I don't know. I have no idea. I know we are. I have faith that I am broadcasting. I hear that Hong Kong is hearing us loud and clear. All right. Let me all right, everything seems to be really uh, on track right now. I see. Well, I mean, uh, let's fill people in on what they might have missed before. Well, no, forget it. There's no, there was no before. This is just this show. That's it. Well, so let's discuss it. We, you know, have a, uh, we have a whole convention to discuss. Oh, you mean the Democrats? Yeah. The DNC. You got a whole controversy over. Firing the uh, the chairwoman, and then uh, she gets our, uh, and then she gets hired right away by Hillary. Well, look, that doesn't surprise me. We all knew that she was backing Hillary at the The emails proved it. Our assistant, the CF, CFO, he was the chief financial officer of the DNCCC, uh, the uh, Southern Baptist, questioning whether Murray was an atheist, a Jew, or uh, he said it would be easier to sell his campaign to the Southern Baptists if he was an atheist as opposed to being a Jew. You know, I guess they've never forgiven the Jews. Supposedly, killing Jesus, you know. I don't know. The Pope said has said that it wasn't them. John Paul, John Pope John the Twenty Third cleared that up back in 1963. Yeah, but they're not Catholics. Different religion. Yeah. To them, they're probably uh, just like to our friend, uh, the old faithful, uh, whoever, Mister Chad, the challenger. He, he thinks that the, the Pope is going to hell. I know. Uh, so, you know. No answer from uh, our intern, so I guess. She's sleeping, probably. Probably not listening anymore. Oh, she's sleeping. Past our bedtime. It's almost past our bedtime, if you want to know the truth. Yeah, well, we only got 28 minutes left we can broadcast. So even if we want to broadcast, we all, we don't have that you know a longer show. We don't have the time. But the uh, I mean, Doctor Mark and I, uh, or the the doc and uh, I, really have differing opinions about the DNC and everything else. Yes, we have differing opinions on what? On uh, on everything. And if it's not differing, I make sure it is. That's right, because then you start picking on me. You get very sarcastic. You know? Yeah. I mean, look, why did the Hillary uh, hide? Very easily. You do. I and, you, and, and it doesn't, I don't mind if you yell. It's it's, it's good for the yeah, show. I got neighbors. I don't want to yell. You know? It's good. Nobody can hear you. It's good for the show. The yelling is good. People like to hear, uh, what does your friend say? He likes to hear what? Our... Our bantering, our, uh, yeah. Back and forth. Yeah, exactly. That's what. And that's. I have another friend who listens and uh, says that uh, you really picked on Felix last on last night, didn't you? You know, or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Hey, listen, this is what we. Back and forth. Yeah, this is what we enjoy doing. You know, 
Mark gets a little. Mark takes it a little more seriously than I do. When uh, when I, I I start getting sarcastic with him, he gets upset. When he makes fun of me or gets mad at me, I don't. To me, it's just part of the show. I don't care, you know. The, but Doctor Mark takes it much more seriously, I guess sometimes. serious discussion, you know, I think you should be serious. Well, a lot of times, I'm, I'm kidding, but I'm serious in my kidding. You know, I have, obviously, as you probably know by now, I'm not a Hillary fan. I would have considered voting, voting for Bernie. I would consider voting for Johnson. I would even consider going with the Green Party. Well, you know, I and, saw, I saw. and I would... And if Trump keeps going the way he's going, I might consider voting for him. I saw Jill Stein on two interviews, okay? And she's, first of all, she's a doctor. She's highly intelligent, very well spoken. Yeah. A lot of the things she says, it could, she could mimic Bernie's campaign. Well, yeah, the Green Party. The Green Party and Bernie. They're very the liberal. Same, one and the same. Yeah. In fact, when, when it was obvious Bernie was going to basically throw in the towel, she said, I wish Bernie would come over to our party with his supporters. Yeah. You know, I mean, then you would have seen the Green Party, I mean, become like one of the top two parties in uh, in, in the country. Yeah. You know? you know, if Bernie decides to go there, I mean, you know, this, they will do the same thing that the uh, independent, not the independents, that the... Uh, what is Johnson? What do they call that? The uh, yeah. what is Johnson's party? Libertarian. Libertarians. The base. The, those guys are acting as co-presidents. That's what they agreed on. Uh, Stein and uh, Johnson. Yeah, they basically said they're like co-presidents. Well, they very much want to get onto the debates. Yeah. To get onto the debates, they have to have fifteen percent. Imagine if they get on and the Green Party gets on. Oh. Since he was nominated by the Libertarian Party, and if he gets selected, he won't smoke a joint for the four years he's going to be president. That's what he said. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, drinking a little uh, marijuana tea is okay. <laughs> it's soothing. You know, actually, I, I wonder, with, with more than two people debating, I wonder if Bernie would want to Trump's really great with well, the more people on the stage. Trump is better. The better for him because he, he knocks everybody and yeah. he never answers the question. Yeah. You know. It'll be, it'll be interesting. But the bottom line is, which we all know anyway, yeah. Trump gets a pass on a lot of things that Hillary would not get a pass on. And as Hillary as gets as a lot of a pass no, 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 on a lot of things. As, as far as as far as her platform. You know, Trump can get up there and say nothing and people are satisfied. If yeah. If got up there and said nothing, then he'd say, where's the beef? You know? Well, I heard a speech on, I guess, it was yesterday, the day before yesterday, yesterday, right? There was no beef. Oh, I don't know. She mentioned ways to, uh, sort of get the economy back and all that. Everything was the same stuff she's always said. There's, not, there's nothing new. And she was, uh... The only Polish workers or uh, workers from Serbia or uh, whatever. He never hired Polish illegal. Stop that. He, he I doesn't. wasn't saying that because it was on record that one of the jobs. He one of his done. contractors hired, but it wasn't him. He can't control what the contractors hired. Well, that's true. Yes. You know, actually, I mean, everybody, everything gets with Hillary well, too. You know, Office, the book stops, stops here. here. And it's true. Yeah. You know, you're not going to blame it on the lady. You're going to blame the person on the Of top. course. Well, first thing is, if you you listen to people who know Trump, they all love him. All his employees. He's got more women executives than men executives, Trump. And they get paid more than the men. The women you're talking about. Yeah. Not the men. They get paid more than the men, I said. So there's no, you know, and that ends, you know. 
And Trump has been in the limelight now for what, 20 years? Well, wait, wait till you get off. You know, till we end the show, then play with it. No, I'm not playing with it. I'm talking to my son. He's at the precinct. I haven't spoken to him. You know. Tell him to call in the show. Why? Oh no, why would anybody want to call the show? We haven't even given our phone number, 646-595-3275. I mean, Trump is very pro police department. Most police departments are uh, supporting him, right? Usually gets the support of uh, police and fire, you know, uniform uh, municipal employees. Democrats usually get, uh, as I said, um, they get the teachers. District thirty-two, they get, you know, they get the teachers union. That's who they usually get. Yeah. Because Republicans are generally tougher on crime. Now, do you know? Uh, a lot of Republicans say that on a lot of issues, Trump is more liberal than the Hillary. More to the left than Hillary or Bernie. I've heard that they did mention something during the uh, yeah. Republican convention. They're very upset about that. But Republicans so, are, yeah. Yeah, how liberal he is. Well, that's because they, they, they always maintain that they don't think he's a conservative. He's you know, not. The fact that he took, that he chose Mike Pence, he's trying to shore up his uh, yeah conservative, his, uh, side. conservative credentials. But there's very little that he agrees with Mike Pence on. Yeah, listen. If you if you get rid of all the rhetoric, he's, his policies are very simple. I'm the boss. Hmm? I'm the boss. I'm the boss. You do what I say. And everything will be beautiful. Yeah. No, he wants to reduce taxes. There's always a bad side to reducing taxes. He wants to reduce the taxes and balance the budget. That's hard to do. Because you probably need to raise the taxes to try to, uh, and lower the... You know, take, take Flycatch is uh, listening. We haven't. He hasn't been on the show for ages. Oh, right. Well, it's kind of late. Not for him. No. Yeah. So let's see. How can you read what he says? It, it, it doesn't say have to say anything. He just says he's, he's just listening to us. Well, just say hello. Well, he can hear us. Hello, Hello Flycat. He can hear you. He can hear you. I'm going to check on my coffee. You're going to check on your coffee? You want another cup? Of course. Why not? Anyway, uh, okay, so my friend over here, the doctor, abandoned me. So, Flycat, you are... Uh, you're going to go in the chat room and speak a little bit today. Got anything to say about the elections, about Trump, about Hillary? Trump is the uh, knight riding on the white horse. What he brings is hope and prosperity. There you go. I think he's a little better than Hillary. You know, I got... Uh, you know,